on. Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Protection from cold calling salesmen is to be abandoned. Spain faces both ways in Eurozone vice. Who's trying to control the internet? Are we witnessing the introduction of pan-European parties? Plus, Dr Eric Edmonds take on yet more EU obfuscation. I'm Rick Timmis and this is The Unit Nightly News. First, from my homepage, a proposed EU directive on street selling has removed the need for traders to have a local authority licence. It is suggested that this could lead to more cold calling and rogue traders. This one is definitely worth watching. After decades of being a net recipient of EU funding, Spain is set to become a net contributor. This despite being in the middle of a massive economic crisis within the troubled Eurozone. The irony is this means Spain will be paying money to the same partners it may soon be reaching out to for aid. Much more on this on our website. An almighty scrap is breaking out over who controls the internet. At next month's international conference in Dubai, MEPs will be calling for a block on attempts by the International Telecommunications Union to gain control over the internet. This article contains all the available facts and figures and it's going to run and run. We'll keep you in the loop. From our legislation page, you might care to take a peek at the following. State boundaries and national identities are soon to disappear. MEPs have voted in favour of adopting a report detailing arrangements enabling European citizens to stand in elections in any member state even though they are not nationals in that state. There's a fair bit more on this important development, which, if it comes to pass, will affect us all. And finally, can I draw your attention to a straight-from-the-shoulder article by Dr Eric Edmonds, our resident economist and all-round observer of things political, entitled EU Sidelining on Track and found on our Euroeconomics page, it perfectly dissects current political shenanigans in Britain. <laughs> no change there, then. Well, that's all from me at The Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can, of course, follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is The E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>